What's up guys, this is Captain Ross here at East Island Aquatics and these are Heterandria formosa or least killifish. So these little guys are the smallest live bear in North America. Smallest live bearing fish. You can compare them to guppies and platies and mollies and all the common live bears you know and love except they have one major difference and that is how they treat the fry. So my experience, they will not eat their fry, these guys, not at all. However, that doesn't mean you're going to get oodles of fry because the females can hold their fry for a long time. So once one is pregnant, you can expect it to release like two, three, four in a period of a couple weeks or months and something like that. So it takes them quite a while to finally get rid of their batch. So you are definitely compensating for the fact that they don't eat their fry by the fact that it takes them forever to release them all. This one's like really pregnant. So she'll probably be releasing her a few soon. So yeah, breeding process is super, super slow. I've got a bunch of them out in a pond right now and they're doing very well like I've got a bunch and I have been um, actually moving them in to tanks so yesterday I moved a bunch in to my uh, nine gallon cylindrical tank Bayou and they're doing very well in there so you'll have to I'll have to put a video out for for that soon anyway these guys can feed on just about anything. I prefer cobalt food so what I like to give them is fry minis because they're so small anyway and I'll feed some now. Cobalt fry minis. It's a really small formula and they're so small anyway that it's good for them to eat and then their babies are able to grab some too. And then what you want to do if you're going to breed these guys tons of java moss. As you can see this tank is literally loaded with java moss. Java moss and guppy grass is the way to go. And if you're wondering what the sponge thing up here is, let me show you. I have some philodendron right there that's hooked on by the sponge. So that's what that is. And I just use a Coral Life T8 10,000K like daylight bulb, which is really good for growing all the plants. I do have cladophore in here, but honestly I'm not going to be selling this java moss, so it's okay. The cladophore just gives it gives them more hiding places, I guess. So this tank is generally just guppy grass, a crypt or two, and lots of java moss. So that way the uh, they're able to reproduce a lot and hide wherever they need to hide. So yeah, not too much to breed in these guys. Um, if you are interested in buying some, I have some available. I am going to be able to ship within reason. So let me know if you are interested. And if you live in Fort Wayne, hit me up and we can make a really easy transaction. Got a bunch out in the ponds and I will definitely be able to ship. So let me know if you're interested. I also have a Melanistic Gambusia Hubrucki, which is like... A Dalmatian mosquito fish, rare variety of those as well. So let me know. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.